Well, here we are at uh, Eurosonic in Groningen, here in uh, the hip part of Groningen, I might add. And we're with Hans Sterkenboom. And Hans comes from Utrecht. Yes. Also works in Breda and in Geneva. And you've come here to present your company in this music meets tech, tech meets music for Boomer. Tell us about what you do. Tell us about what the company is made of and why you've actually come to present in this particular gathering. Thank you. Uh, first of all, um, we don't have a particular music industry-wise company. Right. However, we offer blockchain technology as a service. So what does that mean? Um, in the blockchain, you can register and authenticate anything of value. Um, in this way, you can't be frauded with, and you can automatically send the value around the world within seconds. Um, and we want, really want to offer this also to the music industry, uh, because then the musicians can register their uh, music, people can authenticate it, and the payment within the bands or the musicians can be automated. So basically what you're saying is there's a whole new way that musicians, artists can authenticate and get privately the revenue from their music using your blockchain platform. Yeah, but we really don't want to replace any companies. We right. just want to make their um, procedures more efficient. So you always will need to authenticate if it's the right master tape. Um, you always need uh, uh, platforms to send out uh, the music and you always need uh, the pluggers to, to plug the music. However, um, if every procedure in this region can be automated, it can be very efficient and also you get the data from all the musicians that are playing and now only the 5% the, the of the top artists have the data available, but then you can also register the other 95. So give us an example of how you recruit people or users for the system. What I'm interested in is obviously using the whole blockchain mechanism, fantastic way of doing this, but how do you reach out? What's your outreach mechanism? That's the funny thing. We don't reach out um, because we're also building blockchain technology for um, their airline companies and banks. However, anyone who wants to use blockchain technology can can use our service and then they can build their own authentication system. Right. So uh, in this way, uh, Abumar can use it to authenticate right. and also get the royalty split automatically. I so see. We're, we're just a service provider. Uh -huh. yeah. So effectively, you've developed the technology that allows this kind of facilitation for the for the creative copyrights. Yeah. Of worldwide the authentication worldwide for authentication sensitive data. For sensitive data. Yes. Fantastic. Who came up with the idea? Is this you that came up with the notion of it? No. Um, we were so fascinated by the technology uh, of blockchain. And um, I really thought, I, I really don't want to miss out this time. I missed the invention of the internet. And uh, email came, came a little bit later. However, now you can send value like you send an email around the world. Right. So I became interested in it. And then I thought, what if, if you can combine two things? You have a worldwide database, the blockchain, which is untemperable, available for free, and the strongest computer network in the world. What can you do with it? You can authenticate anything, and you can uh, link any database without exposing the sensitive file, because Boomer don't wants, uh, doesn't want that is very private database right. that's on the street or on the internet. Right. Yeah. And if someone wants to use this and use your blockchain, yeah, we offer it as an API. You offer the API. What yeah. is the cost to a user for this? One euro per registration in the blockchain, and wow. authentication is for free. Wow, that's very so, reasonable. If you, if yeah, we also offer to a notary company. Uh, normally, uh, the cost price of a notary uh, act, how do you call it, a depot in the at the notary, uh, uh, is 350 euros, and we can do it for one euro in, in seconds, and you can check it worldwide. And have you started to see people starting to use this system and process? Yeah, we've been building pilots, but they're uh, uh, testing it now on cargo, biometric authentication, so right. iris scans, fingerprints, uh, and especially on food and medicine. Hmm. Uh, there are texts on it that have to be authenticated. 
and normally this is done by hand now, right, right now. And the same goes for cargo bills. The bill of lading is changing by hand. It's actually a paper. And now it can be done to the internet without exposing the sensitive data. Fantastic. Transparent database worldwide. Fantastic. So this really interesting process. So if you've got to give a message to those that are watching, or those here at Eurosonic that are seeing you and seeing you do this, what would your uh, call to action be to someone that says, ah, Hans is saying something interesting, let's see how we can really develop this. What would you say to them? How would you, how would you open the gate to them to come to you? We don't want to replace companies. We just want to offer the service and the possibility to get used to the technology that is just as big an invention as the invention of the internet and email, and people can test with it. And later on, they can build their own use cases. So we just want to make the technology available for everyone. And are you we call finding- it blockchain as a service. Of course, it is a yeah. service, but uh, uh, if you look over the last 12, 15 months or so, as the blockchain, uh, the blockchain platform has started to develop, there certainly is a wider interest in it now than there was a year ago. Yes. What's your prognosis for what's going to happen over the next 12 months? Uh, this year it will be implemented at some really large banks, and uh, especially when you use it in the aviation industry or worldwide industries, because like the music industry, and you can authenticate and register worldwide, and you can transfer value like an email. It's just the beginning of uh, your car paying the tollway to avoid traffic jams. So, if someone wanted to find out more about this, how would they, what's your online address for them to be able to, to uh, key into it and find out more information? Okay, just have a look at uh, ibt.tech. ibt.tech. Yes. And that takes you to, gives you a whole outline as to how you can yeah, use it? Yeah, we try to explain it and, um, and we offer an API. We can also start with the proof of concept, explain it, build a pilot and then go live. And what do you do in your development team in Breda? Yeah, um, the techies are there, so uh, <laughs> you have to go there. So that's we're, where you do a lot of the backroom APIs, APIs there. Yeah, yeah. And are you going to make those APIs available on uh, Android and iOS? Yes, you can you connect it to to any system. Fantastic. Yeah. So so give us uh, give us some examples of where you've got good feedback on the use of this blockchain basis. Um, the best example, and it really was a use case I didn't came up with, was um, I connected the blockchain with my mother's mobile phone, an old Nokia, and I connected it to a text server. And the UNHCR asked, can we authenticate uh, refugees without exposing where they are, in what, which base camp they are? Said, yeah. That's actually funny, because this is my mother's phone, I send a unique token that she can verify by SMS text. You know where it is, but no one except the one who has the original file can authenticate her. So no enemies. And it's a use case, it's a really amazing use case, but it didn't come up with it. It's just, um, before uh, Google came uh, 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 to the internet, people were using the internet like as a, as just as a book. And nowadays, you can use it other ways. And the same has to grow in blockchain technology. So really, this is like a VPN for your own specific yeah. confidential or... Untemporal database. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. So Hans, great that you've been part of this. This will be broadcast and seen by thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. So uh, they should keep watching you because what you're doing with this blockchain business and blockchain platform is really a game changer. Thanks for coming here to Music Meets Tech at Eurosonic. Best of luck to you. Final word from you as to what you want to see in the next six months. Worldwide authentication for free. Worldwide authentication for free. Yeah. And hopefully all roads will lead to Utrecht and to Breda. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Hans. Yeah. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thanks for coming on. Bye.